What's up America? This is Kim with Geauga Firearms Academy. Thanks for watching. Today I'm going to show you how to do the dominant eye test. One thing that always surprises Neil and I is how many students we get who've already taken a CCW class or some kind of other training and they don't even know they have a dominant eye or why that's important. Even though we have two eyes to see, our brain only uses one of our eyes, our dominant eye, to line up everything. That's why it's so important in shooting because we have to line up the sights so we can shoot accurately with our dominant eye. Okay, I wanna jump in here for a little bit of a rant and just some kind of funny range stuff. Now, I, of all the trainings I've gone to and put on myself, it's it's always funny because I'll see somebody inevitably will be uh, on the range and they're, they're doing this weird head thing. And of course, I already know what they're going to say, but just for just for fun, I'll go. I just out of curiosity, why do you turn your head? And so the reply is, well, I'm cross-eyed dominant, and we haven't discussed that too much just yet. But here's the deal: as Kim just explained, one of my eyes is my dominant eye. So let's just say it's my right eye, but I happen to be left-handed. Then I'm cross-eyed dominant, or maybe it's my left eye that's dominant, but it's my right hand that I shoot with that would be cross-eyed dominant. And so somewhere along the line, some screwy instructor told them, whatever, that they need to turn their head to line things up. Now, think about this. And my answer, by the way, uh, is, well, when they say I turn my head because I'm cross-eyed dominant, I say, well, yeah, but you're not a catfish, right? Unless you're some, like, animal or alien being that has eyes on the sides, there's no reason that we need to turn our head. We're not birds, okay? Think about this for a minute. If I line up like I normally do, dominant eye, which is my right eye, and I happen to be right-handed, now, if I close my right eye, okay, I can see just this part of the gun, and line it up with my left, there I am, lined up, okay? Now, if I switch again, then I come back over to here. So, literally, this is the only movement that needs to happen. My head doesn't need to move. I don't need to do some weird thing like this. That is nonsense. Now, here's my rant. For the love of all things shooting holy here, I, I've seen this happen so many times. Some instructor tells him this, even on a professional law enforcement range. I just cannot believe this. Somebody will actually say, because you are left eye dominant, that you now must learn, even though you're right-handed, to shoot with your left hand as your dominant hand. That is insanely crazy. That is ridiculous. What does it matter what eye is dominant, whether I hold the gun with my left hand if I'm left-handed, or right hand if I'm right-handed? I, I mean, they literally will take their holster and switch it around and switch everything. It's like, ah! Okay, rant over. The dominant eye test is really easy and quick. All you need to do is focus on something in the room, maybe a light switch or a little dot on the wall. You're gonna make a triangle with your hands. With both eyes open, you're gonna put that dot right in the center. Then you're going to take turns closing each eye. And when you close your dominant eye, it should disappear out of the triangle. Now Neil and I are gonna to try to do a quick demo for you using his hands as if you were doing it at home. So Neil's going to focus here on this dot, and then he's going to close his left eye, which is his non-dominant eye, and it's going to stay right in the center. And then now he's going to close his dominant eye, which is his right eye, and it's going to disappear from the screen. So if you're cross-eyed dominant, just know that it's very common. We get that question all the time. It's nothing weird or out of the ordinary. It's actually a very common thing. I think 30 or 40 percent of the population is cross-eyed dominant. Okay, so quick little, quick story that's kind of funny, a little range humor, and then I'm out. Um, because I know I bring down the value of the videos when I come in. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm in a class, right? This happened a couple times, but this is just uh, one instance that I just remember. So we're in a class, and it's like 20 or 30 people in there. Uh, and I believe it was a CCW class, whatever the case was. And I'm talking about this. And I usually break it down very, very slow, step by step, because when you have that many people, it gets crazy. People start falling off the rails, and it's just a mess. So uh, we do this all together. And there's one guy in particular that's having a lot of trouble with this. And I always ask everybody, got it, you know, and then I'll help them and so forth. So this gentleman in the back raises his hand and he says, I only have one eye. I said, well, that's your dominant eye, sir. I mean, <laughs> not sure. So truly that, uh, that happened. We've had a few people ask this. And it's happened more than once. So. <laughs> I'm out. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give us a thumbs up, like, share, comment. We also have a security camera we're going to be checking out. Stay tuned. That's coming out real soon. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube and click that bell so you get notified every time we put a video out. You can find us on Facebook, on Instagram, and we put all of our premium content on Patreon. Until next time, remember, it's always better to be judged by 12 than carried by 6. <laughs>